Are you looking for a way to earn extra money and still work from home? A lot of parents find themselves in this situation, especially recently. I was in a very similar spot a few years ago. I wanted to find a fun and challenging side hustle that helped me meet my financial goals and one that I was able to do at home. Today, I'm gonna to share 18 side hustle ideas for you to consider. Not all of them are gonna be a fit for you, but hopefully they'll spark an idea or start leading you down a path that helps. Before I do, if you like what you hear today, please consider giving me the YouTube triple thanks. That's hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and then commenting down below. I appreciate you considering it as I'm looking to grow my business this year. Thanks so much. Okay, let's start with number one. Freelance writer. One of my favorite and most lucrative side hustles is freelance writing. It's amazing how much money you can make with a few extra hours of time and a passion for a topic. Companies often pay by the article or word count. For example, 10 cents per word for a 1500 word article or 150 bucks. Not bad for a few hours of work. I have a few friends who are also parents that make well over $100,000 writing from home. You'll wanna start a blog so prospective clients can read your writing before working with you. Over time, freelance writing can be an excellent way to make money at home. Number two, virtual assistant. The internet has allowed people to make a comfortable living from home by helping others with their small businesses. If you're good with Instagram posts, managing Facebook groups, editing and proofreading articles, scheduling meetings, replying to emails, well, the role of virtual assistant or VA might be right for you. Depending on your skills, you can easily charge $30 per hour or more for VA work. After Kayla Sloan learned how to make $10,000 per month as a VA, she developed a helpful course so others could learn to become a 10K VA as well. I'll put that link in the description below. Number three, proofreader. There are a lot of businesses out there that hire for proofreading work for important documents, articles, and proposals. Someone with an eagle eye for details and a love for the English language can make some decent side money with proofreading. Proofread Anywhere is a well-respected resource that helps you improve your proofreading skills. If you already have the skills and you're looking for proofreading jobs, check out sites like Upwork or Fiverr to get started. Number four, affiliate marketer. Starting a blog was one of the best decisions I ever made. Establishing a presence online and sharing my thoughts and opinions have opened up so many doors for me throughout this last few years. A great way that I've made money through my blog and with this YouTube channel is with affiliate marketing. This is when you recommend products or services that you use, like, or trust. If someone decides to purchase that product or service, you get a commission. For example, I learned a lot from Michelle Schroeder Gardner's course on how to make sense of affiliate marketing. If you decide to buy that course, I'll receive a commission. I liked the product, I used it, it helped me, and I think it'll help others. One year, I made around $3,000 from affiliate marketing. That's not bad for a little side hustle while I was working my full-time gig. Again, that link is in the description below, and what you just heard me do right there is affiliate marketing. Number five, YouTube vlogger. Like blogging and podcasting, making money on YouTube takes a lot of time, patience, and dedication. In the beginning, you won't make much money at all, but over time, you can start earning $1,000 or more per month in advertising revenue. In full transparency, my channel, this one you're watching, earns around $200 per month in advertising from Google AdSense. Those are the ads that you see before and after my video. So I appreciate you watching them because that's how I make money on this channel. So thanks. <laughs> I have some friends who have been at this way longer than I have, and they are making well over $10,000 per month from Google AdSense. Number six, data entry worker. It may not be the most glamorous job, but remote data entry gigs are generally in high demand and highly competitive. Some pay hourly or flat rate per project, and most offer a flexible schedule to work from home. General requirements include a personal computer, reliable internet, and the ability to type 40 to 50 words per minute. Number seven, pet sitter. You love pets? Well, you can get your slice of the $100 billion pet industry and hang out with some lovable animals through pet sitting. Services like Rover, you can pet sit from the comfort of your own home as well. Number eight, Etsy seller. 
If you know how to develop artwork, crafts, jewelry, clothes, woodwork, or a multitude of other products, try selling your wares on Etsy. Selling your own products is one of the best ways to make more money. And if you love creating, then this could be a fun side hustle that you can do from home. Number nine, podcast editor. There are over 2 million podcasts out there now, and a lot of them are made by first-time podcasters. If you have audio editing skills, you could make good money helping these folks out. And if you choose to edit podcasts in a genre that you love, that you want to learn and be entertained from, you could do that and get paid at the same time. Number 10, podcast producer. After five years of podcasting, I figured out how to make a living from it. In fact, I left my corporate career a couple years ago and now I podcast, among other things, full time. This past year, I made around $80,000 from my business overall. But in year one, I made $0 from my podcast. So if you're looking to make money tomorrow, I wouldn't recommend this route for you. If you have some patience and a passion for a topic, even if you don't make a dime from it for a while, podcasting could be good for you. Number 11, graphic designer. Entrepreneurs are paying good money for people to help them design their logos, their graphics, or their websites. Get your payday by helping others with your graphic design skills from the comfort of your own home. Number 12, baker. Take your passion for cooking and baking and make some extra money. One couple I know through the Financial Peace University class that I was coaching is doing this by uh, paying down their debt and baking cookies and selling them. Just, they just have to remember not to eat up all their profits. That's the only, that's the only caveat there. <laughs> Number 13, retail arbitrage seller. Retail arbitrage can be extremely profitable. This is when you buy items from one location, like a Walmart, and then sell them for a higher price elsewhere. Some people are making big money while others are actually losing money. So be careful, do your research, and ensure you are using this tactic in a smart way. Number 14, bookkeeper. Do you love numbers? Well, there's a good chance you do if you're watching personal finance videos. <laughs> Bookkeeping is an excellent work from home job. While this role can vary a bit based on who you work for, you'll likely be assigned a variety of tasks. Some tasks may include tracking important financial documents, reconciling banking transactions, and running payroll for other employees. Remote bookkeepers report earning anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000 per year. Number 15, private tutor. Are you knowledgeable about a particular topic? Well, tutoring might be a great fit for you. The hours are really flexible and there's nothing more fulfilling than watching a student have that light bulb moment where everything clicks. During the pandemic, many tutors and families switched over to Zoom and other online platforms. This online trend may continue as it certainly is more convenient for families. Still, by being open to in-home and virtual tutoring options, your client pool is significantly larger. To get started, you might reach out to a local public library and school to inquire if there are any tutor registries you can join. You might also post your services on neighborhood Facebook groups, next door, and more. Depending on the subject area and your location, you can expect to earn anywhere between $15 and $50 an hour. Number 16, curriculum creator. If curriculum design is your thing, you might consider selling printables on a platform like Teachers Pay Teachers. While this definitely doesn't qualify as passive income to start, it can be pretty passive eventually. To get started, find a particular subject area that you are well-versed in and niche down as much as possible. After you create your products, you'll likely have to do some initial promotion. However, once your audience grows, and so do your reviews, your products will do a lot of the speaking for themselves. Number 17, child care provider. One of the biggest benefits of child care is that you have control over your schedule. Some people prefer to offer child care during the day, while others might offer their services at weeknights or weekends. Rates vary on a number of factors, including how many kids they're watching and hours. Additionally, if the child care you offer is along the lines of in-home daycare with a more formal curriculum, you can expect to earn more for that as well. Just make sure that you are aware of any licensing requirements in your area. Care.com is a smart resource to check out for this type of opportunity. Number 18, social media manager. Are you always scrolling on your phone? Well, if social media is part of your comfort zone, you can put those skills to work as a social media manager. 
Brands are quickly realizing the value of having an online presence. That online presence used to mean creating a web page. Now though, there's content and audience engagement on everything from Instagram and Pinterest to TikTok and Facebook. As a result, many brands hire social media managers to create and post on their behalf. Currently, I pay someone to support me with my Instagram and YouTube accounts to help me grow my small business. It's small business owners supporting other small business owners. Well, I hope this work from home list helps you come up with some ideas. Remember, before starting any of these, I recommend starting with your current job and seeing if a raise or overtime is possible. Since you're already on the payroll there and you have a special skill set, that could be your easiest route to make more money. But enough from me, everyone. I want to hear from you. What do you think of this list of work from home side hustles? Which of these gigs is your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money signing off. Carpe diem.